let's upgrade what is probably the best product Pokemon's ever released. Welcome back everyone to more from the Sableyes. I'm Mitch and today we're going to take a look at the ADP Zacian League Battle Deck. This is the number one best competitive product that Pokemon has ever released. This product is going to get you from being a collector or a very casual player into being an incredibly competitive player in just a couple of quick changes. It is so, so good that you could potentially take the League Battle deck out onto the ladder on PTCGO right now and win games with it. It is just silly. So this video is really not so much about upgrading ADP uh, Zacian League Battle decks to make them competitive. They kind of already are. It's just the middle step, right? You've got the middle step between the League Battle deck and a fully fledged competitive Pokemon deck. So we'll take a look at this one in just a second, but if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. There's a lot of people who watch the content that don't subscribe. I've got heaps of people that do, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you very much. Leave a like, and hopefully you enjoy taking a look at these decks in this video. So let's start off with the content of the actual product. This is the League Battle Deck uh, as I've kind of put it together on PTCGO. Now, I will say this as of recording, this product is currently not out. It is the 12th of November as I record this, and on the 20th of November it will come out. These are the cards that you will receive in your League Battle Deck. I will point this out. I don't know if this is the exact Meowth that we are going to be using. We could potentially have the Evolution Raw Meowth in this deck, but regardless, it doesn't really matter. The key Pokemon that we're looking at are ADP, Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia, and Zacian V. Now let's talk over why these cards combine so well. Obviously, if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know ADP Zacian is an incredibly powerful competitive deck, and it has been since February. ADP uses this GX attack, right? Altered Creation GX. For a Metal Energy, it means that you deal an extra 30 damage for the rest of the game. It's pretty good. That's actually a really, really good effect. 30 extra damage is almost always going to be helpful. But here's the thing. If we have an extra Water Energy attached to this ADP, then not only do we get to do an extra 30 damage, but we also deal... or well, we also take an extra prize. I'm just getting so freaked out by how good this this League Battle deck is that I'm struggling to remember the effect of these cards. ADP takes extra prizes, right? So if you take a knockout on a basic non-GX, non-V Pokemon, you're going to take two prizes. You knock out a V or GX Pokemon, you're going to take three prizes. So to Dene's Crobats, if you see them on the bench, knock them out, take three prizes. If you knock out a tag team like Arceus Dialga Palkia, you're going to take four prizes, the same as VMAXs, right? So we've got heaps and heaps of opportunities to take prizes with this deck after the altered creation. We also have two really powerful attacks. We'll look at Zacian first. Brave Blade is the most powerful attack in the deck. For three metal energies, it deals 230 damage, and we can't attack with this Pokemon next turn. And we also have on ADP, Ultimate Ray which deals 150 damage for a Metal, Water and Colorless Energy and then we search our deck for up to 3 energy and attach them to our Pokemon in any way you like. Now, that's really, really good because after we've GX attacked, this Pokemon will be doing 180 damage instead of 150. And I don't know if you've seen Dedenne or Crobat, but both of those Pokemon have less than 180 HP. Uh, Crobat has 180 so it's going to be knocked out by an ADP. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and go first, attach an energy, go second, attach a second energy, altered creation, and then on the third turn, attach a third energy, gust out a GX, a uh, Dedan GX, or a Crobat V, take those prizes, and set up an extra Pokemon on the board with our ultimate ray attack. That's incredibly powerful, and if we do go first, we don't even need to pass the turn. We can just use Zacian's Intrepid Sword ability to draw three more cards, and if one of those cards is a Metal Energy, we can attach it to Zacian, which is really good because it means that there's less energy that we need to find later. So you can see the core strategy here working already. The League Battle Deck gives us some really, really good cards to go along with it as well. It gives us four copies 
of Stellar Wish Jirachi. This card used to go for like $40 or something silly. Uh, now, not so much. It's not quite as powerful anymore, but four copies will set you up for pretty much any deck that needs this card. Stellar Wish, what we do is we put this Pokemon to sleep and then look at the top five cards of our deck and take a trainer card that we find there. That's not too big of a deal because we've got four copies of Switch in this League Battle deck and we also have three copies of Scoop Up Net which allows us to pick up non-V, non-GX Pokemon and put them back into our hand. So if Jirachi does get stranded in the active asleep, we can always pick it up. We can use Jirachi to find any trainer card that we want. Usually it's gonna be one that's gonna support us getting our ADP or our Zacian out. Now we also have a couple of other support Pokemon here. Uh, we've got the Galarian Berserker line, it's a 1-1 one, one line. Steely Spirit is the ability. I assume this is going to be the Berserker that's in the set. There's one without an ability, but I don't know why you'd put that in here. Steely Spirit, every metal Pokemon in your deck does 20 extra damage, which is nothing to sneeze at. We do 260 after ADP's Alter Creation. Steely Spirit lets us do 280. Uh, so that's pretty good, 260 to 280 is not too bad at all. Uh, we also have two copies of Primate Wisdom Orangaroo, which can let us put a, a, a card from our hand on top of the deck. So we can put a Metal Energy from our hand on top of the deck, and then Intrepid Sword into it with Zacian V to be able to Brave Blade for 230 on the next turn. And we also have one copy of Zigzagoon, which has the Headbutt Tantrum ability and allows us to place one damage counter onto a Pokemon on our opponent's side of the field. So we can put one damage counter on, and maybe that can get us within range of one of those knockouts. Maybe we haven't GX'd yet, and we need to knock out a Dedenne with Ultimate Ray. We can play down that Zigzagoon, take that knockout on Dedenne GX, thanks to the extra 10 damage. We also, for our final Pokemon, have one copy of Mind Report Mewtwo. This is a very, very strong card that will allow us to get supporters from our discard pile back into our deck. We play this card down, we put a supporter from the discard pile on top of the deck, and that means that next turn we can be drawing into that supporter. All of the cards in the Pokemon section of this deck are really, really good. And even if you don't play ADP Zacian, which you'd be crazy not to, frankly, because it's incredibly powerful, even if you don't, you want to branch out to other decks. All of these cards are competitive. All of the Pokemon ones are absolutely competitive. So don't feel like you're wasting slots uh, just because you're getting, like, the Galarian Meowth Berserker line. Like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Uh, when we take a look down in the trainer section, we are seeing a similarly high-quality selection of trainers. Let's talk supporters first. This deck gives you four copies of Professor's Research. This is the best draw supporter in the game. Discard your hand and draw seven. Pokemon is all about discarding your hand so you don't draw into resources that you don't need anymore. This is a great card. We've got four copies of Marnie. This is the second best draw supporter in the game. They just give you a 4-4 set of the best cards. That's crazy. Shuffle your hand to the bottom of your deck. So shuffle your hand, put it on the bottom of your deck, and draw five cards. Your opponent does the same and they draw four. Some nice hand disruption and a way to draw a couple of extra cards. We also have two copies of Boss's Orders. Again, one of the most powerful supporters in the game. We can switch one of our opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon, and it means we can bring Dedenne GX into the active to be knocked out. We can grab those Crobat Vs, we can grab opponents attacking Pokemon that we don't want them to have anymore and knock them out. Incredibly good two copies of that. We also have a copy of Mallow and Lana, which though it doesn't really sink into this deck too well, is a very powerful supporter. We can switch our active Pokemon with one of our benched Pokemon, and if we discard two cards, we can heal 120 damage as well. And also, we have a copy of Guzmahala, which allows us to search for a stadium, and if we discard two cards, we can grab a Pokemon tool and a special energy from our deck as well. Now, let's talk about the stadium that we've got. There's one copy of Viridian Forest in here, which is really, really good to be able to discard cards and to find basic energy. We discard a card from our hand, grab a basic energy from the deck, and grab ourselves one of our two water energy or one of our eight metal energy. We play eight metal energy so that we can get those Zacians powered up. We play two water energy just so we can get ourselves that altered creation GX attack off reliably. Viridian Forest, we can grab that with Guzmahala. 
get us into the energy that we need. We also have one copy of Aurora Energy as a special energy in the deck. We can attach it to one of our Pokemon, discard a card from our hand, and this will provide any color energy that we like. So it could be metal or water, depending on what we need at the time. Again, very, very good. And we also have a copy of Big Charm, which is a super powerful defensive Pokemon tool, especially when placed on something like an ADP. This has 280 HP, it's pretty good. Big Charm gives you an extra 30 HP. So Arceus Diagopalkia now has 310. That's an astonishing amount of health. Things like Eternatus are really gonna struggle to take knockouts on that card with a Big Charm. Uh, and the best thing is, like we said, we can search those cards out with Guzmahala. We can actually search out that card with one copy of Tag Call. We can search our deck for two tag teams and put them into our hand. Wouldn't you know it, we've got ADP as a tag team. We have Guzmahala as a tag team and we have Mallow and Lana, so it's not like we're not going to get any value out of using that card. Uh, let's look at some more stuff, because like, frankly, there is an insane amount of good cards here. I've mentioned the Switch out, those four cards, Switch, and three copies of Scoop Up Net, super competitive cards. You need four of all of them so you can build everything. Just like this card, Quick Ball. Discard one card from your hand, search for a basic Pokemon. All the Pokemon in this deck are basic, apart from Berserker. We can grab them with one discard with a Quick Ball, just like that. It is a beautiful card. Almost every single card that is in the or every deck in the standard format right now plays four of them, and you get them with this theme deck. Well, not theme deck. League Battle Deck. We also get four copies of Metal Saucer, and this makes this deck incredibly powerful. We can attach a Metal Energy from our discard pile to one of our benched Metal Pokemon. It means we can power up a Zacian in one turn. If there are two Metal Sources in your hand, two Metal Energy in the discard pile, we can play those two Metal Sources to a Zacian on the bench, attach a Metal Energy from hand, switch into the active, and deal 230, 260, 280 damage depending on how many modifiers we have access to. Beautiful stuff indeed. We also have three copies of Energy Switch and you might say, well Mitch, why do you need Energy Switch? I mean, we've got all of these ways to accelerate energy. We've got ADP, we've got Metal Saucer. Here's the thing, Energy Switch actually lets you get this Altered Creation GX attack off on the first turn of the game if you're going second. We can obviously attack going second, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and find a Water Energy to attach to ADP, and then since we can accelerate Metal Energy with Metal Saucer, if we can do that to a Zacian, find an energy, energy Switch, get that energy onto the ADP, we are attacking with our GX attack for the full effect on the first turn of the game. Super, super good. And if you can't search out energy with your Viridian Forest, we also have a copy of Energy Spinner as well. This card going first or any other turn of the game, we search for one basic energy. Going second, we search for three. So if you get this card in the early game, it is super, super powerful. One last card, and this one's a really good card as well. Ordinary Rod, shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck. Shuffle up to two basic energy from your discard pile back into your deck, or do both. Super, super good. Now, like I was saying before, you can you can actually 100% just take this 60 card list out onto the ladder. You'd probably win some games against some decks because you've got all the pieces that you need. But what I'm gonna do, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna try and upgrade this without turning it into a fully fledged Zacian deck. Uh, we're going to try and get that middle step. So in just a second, you will see 60 cards that's effectively the same, maybe 20 or 30 packs worth of difference in value that you can turn this deck into an incredibly competitive ADP Zacian list. Alrighty, this is the slightly upgraded ADP Zacian list that you can turn into a relatively competitive list with just a few packs. I mean, I say that. It's very hard to make this deck better without spending a little bit extra. Now, what I've done, I normally try and limit myself to about 20 to 25 packs. For this deck, I've made about 50 packs worth of changes, but I do have to stress that you don't need to make any of these changes if you don't want to. There are still plenty of good options that you can definitely go for to make this deck just that little bit better to get you across the line. Now, let me just talk about the big ones. Firstly, 
uh, you'll notice that all of our cards fit onto one screen now. That's because I've gotten rid of that Tag Call package. Now, you remember we had Tag Call, we had Goose Mahala, and we had Malo and Lana. All really, really good cards, but... We don't really need them too much. We would rather get our GX attack off first and then start taking knockout. So the best way to do that, remove those cards and instead build consistency elsewhere. Uh, what I've decided to do, instead of adding extra supporters in uh, and doing that kind of stuff, I've replaced those three cards as well as the Meowth and Berserker line with an extra ADP two Dedenne GX and a Zacian. Now, as I'm recording this video, ADP is around 13 packs. The Dedenne GX that I've got featured here, the one that came in the, uh, oh, what's the product called again that they put this in? There's like a product that has the Dedennes in it. They give you two in it. It costs like 10 bucks or 15 bucks like for a code. I can't even remember. It's like six bucks for a code. What's it called? I should probably have looked this up. Regardless, you can get these on the cheap. They're maybe six packs each. And I've put in one extra Zashin as well. That means that we are that much more likely to grab a Zashin at the start of the game, grab an ADP at the start of the game, and to be able to draw cards if we don't have a supporter. Now, you'll notice that since we don't have those extra spaces for supporters, I've actually put in a couple of extra bosses' orders. Uh, that's because we want to get those gusts as early and as frequently as we can. I've actually cut a Marnie, would you believe it? Because we don't really need all four of those Marnies in this deck. We just want to draw gusts. So if we can do that, that would be fantastic. Uh, another change that I've made, I've added in another scoop up net so that we can get some more consistency out of our Jirachis. Uh, and that means I've cut down on a Rangaroo as well to try and give this deck just that little bit more of a chance to use the Jirachi in the early game. Uh, one other thing that I've done as well as I've added in an extra copy of Viridian Forest. Uh, you'll notice that they've gone from they've gone from gold to shine. I don't have more than one gold Viridian Forest. I should probably look into getting those. But regardless, I think that Viridian Forest is a really, really good card to have extra copies of. With Energy Spinner, we can draw energy without any problems. I've actually replaced the Aurora Energy with that extra Viridian. But from here, that's about a. I don't want to say that it's a 50 card change because a 50 pack change because when I'm when I'm recording this, the prices are fluctuating all over the place, and there's a really good chance that you'll be able to improve this deck for about like 25 real life dollars. So if you've bought the deck, it's about. How much is it? 40 bucks or something like that? 30 or 40 bucks? An extra 20 on top of that, so half of the price. You can get yourself this list, which is definitely going to be able to compete with stuff on the ladder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove to you that this 60 card list is good enough. It's not the best. It's not the best ADP Zashin list that I've ever made, but it, it will definitely get you wins on the ladder. I'll jump in there now and see what we can do with this particular deck. So here's our first chance to see whether or not this ADP list can work. Hello, Aron Dudu. Uh, we will go first here. We'll try and get this ADP set up. We've got a pretty... Well, I mean, we've got an acceptable hand. We can start with a Jirachi, which I don't mind at all. Don't take a Zashin. That's pretty good. Uh, let's Stellar Wish here, and uh, I think I'm going to grab this uh, Viridian Forest. What we can do with this is we can play down the Zashian, we can play down the Viridian Forest, we can play down the ADP, and we can get rid of this Metal Energy. Um, and that means that we'll be able to use Metal Source at this turn to get an extra energy in the field of play. Uh, and then, on top of that, we can also Intrepid Sword, right? So we can set ourselves up for next turn. Um, and yeah, there's the, there's the power of ADP on turn one. And this is not a... This is not an uncommon thing. This will happen for you pretty much all the time with the 60 cards that I've got put together here. Uh, it's a little bit slower than your traditional ADP list uh, upon playing it a couple of games before recording. It's a little bit slower, but it's not too much. It's not so bad that it's impossible to use. Um, and we are in a, you know, we're in a pretty good spot to win some games. And you'll be able to get more and more coins, more and more cards to progressively build your ADP list to a point where it is in that top echelon of decks. It's the type of deck that you can play pretty comfortably 
uh, for the entire time you play in Standard at the moment. Uh, looks like we're going up against a Rhyperia deck. Might see Welder or something like that as well. Uh, quick Ball here. Rare Candy, maybe a Colossal build. Um, so we'll see a Dedene coming down. And this is another good thing about ADP Zashin, right? Is that now there's a Crobat, there's a Dedene in play. We pretty much don't need to do anything other than knock those two Pokemon out. Uh, looks like they are going to go for a Dedene here. It's disappointing that we lost the Viridian Forest. I would have liked to have guaranteed that Water Energy next turn, but because we've upgraded the count, we've got an extra one of those. We've got a Energy Spinner as well. We are quite likely to draw into a way to get that Water Energy. There's two of those left in the deck, plus the two Water Energy themselves. So we should be pretty solid here. And it looks like they're going to go for a Roly Coley. Try and set up some energy acceleration and ADP feasts on these types of decks. Uh, Marnie is a bit unfortunate because we had a pretty solid hand. But one of the good things about this turn is we are unlikely to lose our Jirachi here. Um, the Jirachi is very, very likely to stay in play. And look at that. We actually found Energy Spinner and Water Energy. This Crushing Hammer is quite unfortunate though. Lucky the tails there. Second Crushing Hammer. Okay, so this one's probably going to be ahead since that last one was a tails. And there it goes. But we have Energy Switch in hand as well. Uh, plus we have Jirachi, so we still have plenty of opportunities to try and get what we need. We're looking for just a switch though. Switch or scoop up net will get us the GX attack this turn, which is pretty insane. Um, and we've top decked a Dedene, so how about that? Uh, let's attach that water energy. We will energy switch. We'll move the energy from the Zashin across to ADP. Let's grab ourselves another metal energy out, because uh, then we can Dedene those two away. And if we find metal saucer, we can attach them both to Zashin. And uh, look at that, we've actually managed to find ourselves multiple switch cards. Uh, this hand looks very familiar to the one that we had on the first turn of the game before we got Marnied. Let's Thelowish see what we can find. Oh, I don't mind that Ordinary Rod. Uh, we might grab that. We don't really need to do anything here other than just switch into the ADP. What we'll do is we'll scoop up the Jirachi, put the ADP in the active. Uh, we'll play that Jirachi back down and then... I don't think we really need to do anything else. We don't want to give them more cards. We don't want to discard our boss. Let's just GX. And hopefully next turn we can find ourselves that extra metal energy so that we can take a knockout on a Dedene or a Crobat. Uh, only three cards left in our opponent's hand. Hopefully they have a bit of a rough time getting themselves organized here. We might be able to steal the march on this game. And uh, yeah, it looks like... Okay, they're going for boss's orders. We've got Switch in hand, this is why we held on to it. So we are in such a fantastic position, an extra Zashin coming down. I think uh, I think we're going to go Switch into the Jirachi. I'm going to go looking for one of those trainers that's going to search out energy. Uh, spinner or a, um, or a, what do you call it, or a Viridian would have been great. We'll, quick, we'll grab the Quick Ball here, because we do need to find that energy. But I also want to get that knockout on a Dedene or a Crobat with our ADP whilst we've got a chance. So let's chuck this Zashin down. We've got three energy in the discard pile. We might not play this rod at all. Let's go look. We've got the Dedene left. We've got plenty of opportunity to find that water energy. I am going to commit. They have no cards in hand. Let's gust out the Dedene and then play Dedene GX. We'll see if we can't find a water energy here. We cannot, but... Oh, hang on. We don't need a water energy. We've got a water energy already. We just needed the regular one. Uh, this is fine. We'll take a knockout. Uh, we'll leave that water energy in the deck. I don't know why I was fixated on water energy there. We didn't need it. We just needed regular metal. All right. Well, we got it. We're all good. We can take our knockouts. We can take three prizes. And now we just need a boss's orders to effectively win this game. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Uh, we just need to take a knockout on a two-prize Pokemon. Um, if they leave this Rhyperior in the active, though, we will actually quite easily be able to knock that out with Zashin. And uh, it's going to be as simple as that. It looks like their only option here is to attach an energy and discard our water. And uh, yeah, we've got a switch in hand. So we can just play that switch. We can retreat into the Zashin. And we will be doing 260 damage to take those last three prizes. And it is as simple as that with ADP Zashin. And this deck isn't even like a fully fledged version of it. You are going to absolutely dominate the lower tiers of the ladder with a deck like this one. Uh, and even with two bosses prize, we managed to get the victory. We'll play one more for you just so you can see 
some more gameplay with it. We are going first. I think we're going to be playing up against a welder-based deck. That normally ends up being what happens in these situations. We've started a Jirachi again. We're going to start with that all the time. The, the, the thing comes with four of them. Like, the deck comes with four Jirachi. How insane is that? Uh, we have an ADP as well off of the top deck. That means that our Quick Ball can actually find ourselves a Zashin. But first, let's Jirachi. We've caught a Viridian Forest. That is fantastic. Means we're going to be able to guarantee our energy attachment. We can actually do pretty much the exact same thing that we did last game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to discard this boss, grab a Zashin, then we're going to be able to use Mewtwo at a later date to try and get that boss back. We can discard our Metal Energy, grab another Metal Energy here, attach to ADP, Metal Saucer to the Zashin, and then Intrepid Sword, and look at that. We Oh my goodness, we find, we find Metal Energy, Switch, and Water. That means we are guaranteed to be able to get into that ADP's GX attack next turn. So that is really, really good. Uh, switch coming out from our opponent now. They're going to try and switch into the Type Null, fair enough. Uh, they don't want to find themselves in a position where their Salamence Vs get knocked out. Um, and it might actually be like a, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a fiery kind of build here. Not going to get value from that Volcanion now because they don't have access to a Welder because of their research. Um, but yeah, we're in a really, really good spot. We can attach the Water Energy to ADP. Um, what else can we do? We can, we can Mewtwo that uh, Boss's Orders to the top of the deck again because... We definitely want to do that. Although, to be fair, I should have used Stellar Wish first because I have to switch because we are about to research. That's okay. We will forego the, uh, the Stellar Wish. And then let's Marnie actually reduce their hand a little bit. We have all that we need. We actually find two bosses and a Dedene. So that is incredibly good. What we might be able to do here, uh, we could potentially get rid of one of these bosses since we have two to find another energy. Uh, we will grab the water here. Uh, although, to be fair, we probably should have grabbed the metal, but that's fine. We will scoop up and we will play back down the Mewtwo. Let's put the boss on. Oh, actually, what we should have done, we should have waited. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm going crazy here. Altered Crash, and I should have waited until next turn because I don't want to top deck that boss. Right? I don't want to top deck the boss's orders. I want to be able to use it later. But that's okay. That's the strength of the Mewtwo, right? That's the strength of being able to use the Mewtwo over something that's even more expensive like Elder Gods V, is that you can use it multiple times. It doesn't get straight back to your hand, but if you've got a hand like this one, it's probably a pretty good idea. But hey, we are looking at a solid position now. Uh, it's unfortunate, though, I've not played down any GX Pokemon that we can easily knock out for three prizes, we may need to go through a Salamence VMAX. And I think that's what they're grabbing out now. It was either that or Sil Valley GX. Um, but it looks like it is the Salamence here. They might be able to hit into our ADP for a solid chunk of damage here. I think they're going to be doing about 60 uh, with Sonic Double. With the triple though, Max Wings will deal 260 damage. And that's very close to a knockout. Now luckily, we are going to be able to attack here. Um, but we are going to need to forego a boss, actually, which is very unfortunate. We might just need to uh, Dedene, I reckon. Maybe if we just Dedene. This is why I shouldn't have uh, done that Mewtwo play. It was, a, it was a waste. We didn't need to do it. Right. Oh, what have we got here? I'm going to research if we want it. We've got a scoop up net so we can play down the boss again. We can get that Mewtwo again, getting us another boss. I really would like to see another... Um, Another Zashin, though. We'll just put this boss on the top now. I don't really need to do anything. Oh, well... Oh, it's okay. We can research and save it. I was about to say we're about to Ultimate Ray, but I forgot we had the Supporter. This is a disaster. This game has been as a, a bit... I can't, even, I can't even speak. Let's Ultimate Ray. We'll get ourselves some energy, spread that around the board, because we don't have another Zashin here. Not that we really need to have one. We've got one Zashin. Uh, we might need to find one next turn, though. So we'll just spread all this damage out. We'll be able to take a knockout on this Salamence next turn. They're going to knock out the ADP. Go down to We're going to go down to three prizes. We're going to knock them out. We're going to go down to two prizes. And we're going to have to hope that we find a Zashin or something similar well, for the prizes. If we could do that, that would be great. It's just a matter of what our opponent gets up to here. Just an attachment to the Salamence on the bench, and then Sonic Double. Fair enough. 
And we'll get the knockout on the active and place 40 onto the Zashin. But we are ready to take the knockout. It's going to be four prizes for us. Even though they've just taken three, we are going to be two attacks away from winning the game. They're two attacks as well. Means we're in front. Right? That's really, really good news. Now, we found Quick Ball, which means we can potentially go looking for another Zashin here. Um, let's actually discard the ADP with the uh, Viridian. Oh, we don't actually have Zashins left. We're going to need to unprize one of those. Let's see here. What is our best route to victory? I think we attach to the Mewtwo just in case something goes horribly wrong. Uh, I will quick ball away a Jirachi and grab another Jirachi. Uh, it might be might have been worth grabbing the Oranguru there to guarantee that we draw into something good. But to be brutally honest, I'm happy just taking these prizes. What is the worst that can happen? Well, I mean, the worst that could happen is that my cat starts scratching on the door at the very end of a video, but that's okay, I can live with that. Um, we've taken four prizes and we do manage to find one of those Zashins, which is really good. Uh, we was looking like we were going to miss it for a second there. Uh, having two in the prizes means that it is unlucky to not see it in the first three, but since we have that altered creation GX attack, we're taking extra prizes, it is fine. Uh, here comes the Ordinary Rod. They're going to shuffle a Salamence and a VMAX back into the deck. And now I feel like we're in such a commanding position, we're going to be able to quite easily capitalize here. Worst case scenario, they knock us out. We have Zashin, Energy Switch, Metal Saucer, and Energy in hand. We can power up an attacker and boss out one of their Pokemon to win the game. Worst case scenario, they like Marnie or Reset stamp us. And we find ourselves in a bit of trouble. That Welder is good for us. There's a reset stamp. Welder's good because it means that they're not likely to draw too many cards. They're not likely to get that VMAX going straight away. Um, and we've actually got double metal energy here. This is, um, this is an interesting position to be in. Because what we could do is we could actually manually retreat this Zashin into the Jirachi. Then go looking for a switch out. Um, we could Stellar Wish looking for a scoop up net or a switch uh, and try and win the game that way. So let's firstly, I think, thin with Viridian. Um, I mean, we're going to retreat regardless. We're going to retreat into Jirachi and then we'll need to thin with Viridian. We have plenty of cards. So let's thin. Get rid of... Oh, there's no energy in the deck anyway. Okay, so we didn't need to thin at all. But we're double checking here. We've got four switch outs and five supporters to potentially find. We've got our double metal patch. We find a switch off of the Jirachi and wouldn't you know it, even the Stamp to 2 cannot stop the Zashins from taking the knockouts. Brave Blade is three prizes. That will win us the game. I think one of our last prizes was a Zashin. Yep, and a Metal Saucer. So we got very lucky there. What a deck. So you can see it's quite a powerful deck, like a really, really cool option. If you're looking to get into the competitive TCG, then this product is for you. I cannot stress enough how valuable it is, and even just getting the code so that you can play it on PTCGO could well be worth it. I'm very, very thankful that Pokemon are putting out products like this, and I'm thankful for you coming past taking a watch of, uh, of the content. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I haven't gone over the top with, uh, with my descriptions of things. And hopefully you've liked it enough that you want to subscribe. Please consider doing that. Click the button that's just up here, and then like the video. Do that kind of stuff as well. That'd be great. Thank you, everyone, for coming along. I have been Mitch, and I'll see you next time. More than the Sableyes. Bye.